Sonu obviously needs no introduction. I'll say a few lines, Fidbi, right? Uh, Sonu has played several roles on camera, big and small, but the one role, several heroes, several villains, etc. But one role he's really been gotten to know for of late is the real-time hero that he played uh, during COVID. The amount of people you've held has been tremendous, of course, and something that you continue to do, which has been the beauty of it all. So firstly, congratulations, uh, Sonu, for having done all of that. And uh, right now, how exactly is that moving forward? We see actors, you know, in their photo shoots and we see them in gyms. We see you kabhi in a train, we see you kabhi making dosa street side. Like, what's really happening here? Yeah, first of all, thank you so much for having me. And uh, it's really uh, an honor to sit with all, I mean, who's and who's of uh, this country. So thank you so much for this, spending this time. Um, yeah, like you said, you know, I, when I came to Mumbai, I, I finished my engineering from Nagpur. I'm from Punjab, a place in uh, Punjab called Moga. And I thought that, you know, like, life is all about light, camera, action. But I, I think from last two years, I realized it's not about lights, it's not about camera, it's only about action. So I think I'm, I'm trying to play um, the role that I always wanted to do, uh, being a part of. I always see at every platform that, you know, um, I thought being a part of a 100 crore film or a 500 crore film or something that I came for. But now I realize, uh, you know, everything looks very small in front of um, a smile on an innocent face, you know, when they come with so much of hope and uh, uh, you can do your bit and you can change your life. So I think that's uh, what I'm trying to do every single day. Uh, I fail a lot of times, but still I try to uh, do my bit. Indeed, indeed. Let me uh, address, now we've got a full house over here while you, we were waiting for you, we were going around asking questions and trying to understand, okay, what is it that we will ask Sonu Sood, okay? Because the elephant in the room is, what is Sonu Sood doing in a mutual fund summit? Like, what's happening? What's brought you here to the financial capital here and talk to people about finance? And while you answer that question, I think the purpose uh, for us to have you here was that we are here talking about wealth creation, we are talking about financial independence, we are talking about so many other things. But a wholesome picture perhaps is also to find the purpose behind that wealth, right? It's to understand how exactly do you invest in what you call is investing in philanthropy. How exactly does one do that? Tell us, take us through your journey, tell us what have been your learning so far. You know, um, the biggest learning that I had, you know, my mom was a professor, she always thought that, you know, um, so, you know, that you can open your hand and see that you can write in your hand that you can save someone's life. So, uh, I always try to do that and um, lately I've realized that, like you said, you know, it's about investing in uh, uh, something that's very close to your heart. Um, I don't know how it happens, uh, but, but it happened in my life, you know, I, I remember um, always, um, you know, asking my manager that, you know, we have done so many films in different languages from Tamil, Telugu, Kannada, Marathi, lots of films. But why are we not getting brands to do it? You know, we should get a lot of brands, a lot of advertisements and all. He said, Ki, sir, aap, uh, you know, we, we, though we are doing a lot of brands, but still we are not getting, you know, a lot of brands because sometimes people say, Ki, yaar, ye negative role karta hai na, to sometimes it doesn't fit into our image. I said, okay, maybe a part of life. And then when the pandemic happened, uh, believe you me, uh, there's not even a single brand in any category that I haven't signed. I signed all those brands and um, the best part was that, you know, I was, um, I pushed them to be a part of my journey. You know, when I signed a mobile brand, so we distributed close to five and a half thousand smartphones across the country for their online classes. When I signed a steel brand, so we distributed close to 350 uh, e-rickshaws. You know, we signed a um, LED brand, so we almost you know, did, uh, you know, the whole lighting projection, almost 16, 17 villages in UP, Bihar, Jharkhand. So I, um, I realized that, you know, when, um, you give back to the society when you invest in someone else's life. That's the real investment, and that's the uh, best return that you get. So, yeah, that's uh, that's my journey. The real investment and in bringing a smile on people's face, right? And I like how you've explained the whole thing. It it sort of helps the actor, and I'm just trying to 
you know, get an objective view here, it sort of brings you a brand image, it also solves a purpose. So that's a beautiful marriage between yeah. the two things. So that's, and we don't see a lot of uh, actors, mainstream do that. So that's really, really lovely, Sonu, that you're doing. But now that we are here and we've touched upon the topic of wealth, I want to understand a few uh, things from you, right? Uh, is it, do, do you, are you somebody who is an active investor? Are you somebody who takes care of finances on their own? This is not my department. How does it work for you? Um, yes, I, I take care of my finances. I don't know how much I understand them, not as much as the people sitting in this room. I wish I could know uh, a lot about mutual funds and investments. Maybe, you know, post my interview, maybe I'll catch hold of a few gentlemen I'll get to. What? Uh, <laughs> There is an app called the Money Control app. Gee. You just have to download that. All the information is right there. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll do that. But if live be sab log mil gaya, to pakad lena chahiye na. Mokke ka fayda utha leta hu main. So, but yeah, like I said, you know, I, uh, being a Punjabi, what we were taught in Punjab was ki bas property mein invest karo. That's the safest thing. So that's what I learned when I came to Mumbai. I I I invest whenever I get um, you know a little bit of something extra. I try to invest in properties. I know this is not uh, a great thing for someone because you can't uh, encash that when you need that. But um, mutual funds is something that I don't understand. So I have to rely on others. Ki, sir, sikha do, bata do, haath pakar lo, le chalo, jahan le kar jana. So that's, that, that's uh, what still I need to understand. But yes, I, I take risks, I would say, when I invest in properties. I remember the first one that I bought um, was 10 times more than I actually had in my uh, bank account. But I took, took, still took that plunge. I said, Lete hai panga, you know, and, and I was able to do it. So, yes, um, that's my forte, you know, and still I have to learn a lot uh, from this gentleman here today. Sure. I think the thing to note for all of us over here is how he so beautifully put it and said that, you know, he so you have to always trust somebody. And that's been so much in a sense of the conversation we've had through the morning on how much trust and value add, you know, companies, etc. can bring to the table and what people like perhaps you really need at this point. So that's lovely to know. But tell me a little more about, uh, I'm always very curious to know people like you, who you are, by the way, an engineer by profession, who came to Bombay and then turned life around and then from that you are now a philanthropist. You wear several hats, right? But the journey with money must have changed, no? Your personal journey with money through the years yeah. on how you see value in money, on what you really see wealth creation as. Yeah. Talk to us a little bit about that. You know, I, I feel, um, I, I came to Mumbai with 5,500 bucks. My, I was the only son of my parents and they said ki Sonu agar Bombay ja hai ek flat khareed le, kyun struggle karna hai, you know, you have everything. So I said, let me go through my share of uh, struggle, th through my share of grind and let me learn that. And so I started from Delhi. So I used to do all these fashion shows and all on 1500, 2000 bucks, you know, was a big thing to be a part of a big show. So I was trying to uh, save money so that at least I have a lack in my pocket and then I'll go to Bombay, a place where I never knew a single soul or maybe two, three months I'll survive and then I'll get my first job. So, but that never happened. So I was not, never able to save that kind of money, uh, you know, in, in Delhi. So one evening, one of my friends said, Sonu, aisa hoga nahi. Bombay is a place you should go and those 11,500 notes that I had in my pocket, I just came to Mumbai and I thought that I'll survive for a month, but uh, it took seven days for that money to end when I, and I realized ki, uh, boss, this is a tough place to survive. But I, I got lucky the same day I got an ad which paid me 2000 per day for three days ad and those 6000 helped me survive. And, um, uh, you know, then, uh, you know, I, I could continue with my uh, journey as an actor. But I, um, I feel no matter how much you earn, there'll always be a gap. You'll say, yaar, waha paunchna hai, waha paunchna. That's a never-ending journey. You know, always, God always keeps a carrot hanging that you keep on working hard um, to achieve your goals. Uh, but um, then you realize it's not about, uh, you know, getting uh, houses or bungalows or fancy cars. It's about, uh, uh, you know, getting con content with what you have. And you say, Ki, chalo, boss, abhi life mein kuch aur karte hai. And I think, jab aap paise ke piche nahi bhaagte hai, tab paise aap ke piche bhaagte hai. That's a good one. So has, uh, like you said, value of money has changed 
for you. And I think post pandemic, a lot of us are having that conversation now, right? On what exactly is the meaning? What exactly our goals should be? How should we be defining them? By the way, when you talked about having only 5,500 bucks in your pocket, I was thinking so many people after this is going to tell you, SIP, you know, should have started then, you, you know, when it would have gotten now. So lots of advice will come post a session for you on that as well. But quickly, as we wrap this up, just want to understand at this point, where do you see this journey forward? And so many people who can, I'm coming back to our theme of investing in philanthropy. How do you think this can be taken forward? What kind of support do you think is required from industry level, from other people, yours and ours? You know, I feel, um, you know, the, the zeal to do, or uh, zeal to give back to the society is sometimes very short-lived because we are so busy. You know, we talk about, um, you know, uh, those stories of helping people or, you know, uh, what we or you can do. But, you know, then again, we go back to your homes and we get busy with your families. Again, we get back busy with their offices and then that takes a back seat. But I, I believe that it's very important that in those 24 hours, at least one and a half, one hour, or maybe two hours, we should keep a vertical which is only for uh, doing something good. No matter, uh, it's not about, you know, um, how you can help. Maybe you can, with your driver, with your gardener, with anyone, you can do some kind of a bit and you can slowly grow. You know, I, I never knew um, how to send people back to their homes or get them educated or do those surgeries. But I started getting connected with hospitals, you know, pharmaceutical companies, universities, schools, and, and you know, everything started growing. The most of the people who are still working with me are the ones whom I had helped during this journey. They are not influential, they are not famous, they are not rich, um, but they have a zeal to do it. So, you know, when we are the blessed ones, we have the, the you know, those kind of resources. So I feel that at least an hour uh, of your 24 hours, keep it aside for someone uh, who needs you. And um, it's, a, it's a very nice saying that umid or koshish sabse important words hote hain agar aapko aapse kisi ko umid nahi hai. So I think you are living an incomplete life. It's not important whether you can change a life or not, but whether you're put an effort to do that or not. So I think that's very important for every single individual. Doesn't really matter whether how rich you are or you're still uh, starting your life. Umid and Koshish, those are lovely words to sort of wrap up our chat on. Thank you so much. Hamari andar ye umid jagane ke liye and uh, for everything that you're doing, Sonu, very many, many congratulations. Thank you so much and I will take some lessons and lessons now, but you know, I can see those smiling faces that you can teach me something, but thank you so much for having me and stay blessed. First, you can download the app, after that, you can do it. That's it, just sit down and do it.